Hello everyone, welcome to the Fun Taptic YouTube channel. Today we'll be taking a break from the game development related topics, and we'll talk a bit about Threads, the newest social media platform by Meta. We made this video because Threads is coming to the EU this week, and we feel like it's a good opportunity for other developers to build a follower base, reach out to their fans, and interact and cooperate with other studios. Moreover, the current situation at Twitter is one full of uncertainty and instability, since lots of advertisers recently abandoned it. Personally, we feel like as an end-to-end -end studio, we need to branch out more and interact with game developers and publishers so that we can get to know them, exchange experiences, and potentially work together. If you're enjoying our videos and want to see more educational content like this, don't forget to subscribe to our channel as our videos touch on a multitude of topics from game development, animation, art, to marketing. And we also do game reviews occasionally. Now onto the topic at hand. Threads first became available five months ago, and since then, it has been improved upon and steadily gained users. As of today, the app has over 140 million users, which is a far cry from Twitter's 353 million as of December of 2023. But remember, Twitter is 17 years old. Twitter has also been losing users lately, and since Threads is just becoming available in Europe, it's bound to get a huge boost in follower numbers in the following weeks. Now, while Threads had immense numbers at its launch, its engagement suddenly plummeted after its first week. However, over the last five months, the team at Meta has steadily improved the app and added requested features such as being able to delete your Threads account separately from your Instagram account, or just last week we saw the addition of tags, Threads version of hashtags. Now, while there are privacy concerns when it comes to Threads, since whenever an app can't launch in the EU, it usually means something bad. We are a bit cynical when it comes to data privacy. While we wish we could have our data private and still use social media, sadly, this is becoming more and more impossible as of today, so we grew to accept it, since there's not one social media that doesn't sell the information it collects. On face value, Threads looks and feels like Twitter. However, it has certain benefits. For example, the free version has a higher video length, character, and image limit than Twitter by a lot. Another benefit of Threads is its tags feature, which on the surface is just hashtags without hashtags. But since hashtags on Twitter don't actually work, why are tags better? For one, you can only use one in a post. This means you can't just spam the most used tags. You can also tag words that have space between, making enjoy the weekend vibe, just enjoy the weekend vibe. Threads has mostly caught up to Twitter when it comes to features. In October, they added polls, GIFs, voice notes, and trending topics. You can also edit your posts for free, unlike Twitter, where it's a paid feature. Another benefit of Threads is how easily you can share stuff between it and other apps. Basically, you can share any post from Threads on Instagram and X, or just link it to any other site with just a couple taps. Now, if you're convinced and want to make your own Threads account, here's how you can do so and you'll also get some advice to grow your follower count. Now, after downloading Threads, you need to log in through Instagram, create your profile by giving it a name, bio, and link. Next step, decide between a private or public profile. A private profile won't be shown to people who don't follow you, while a public one will. After this, you basically have your profile so you can start growing. One of the main benefits of making a Threads account is if you already have an Instagram following, you can practically transfer those followers to Threads and jumpstart your new account. So if you're looking to make a Threads account, it's a good idea to start out on Instagram. Something else you can capitalize on is the action limit on Threads. Growth on Instagram is a bit difficult since the number of actions you have is limited and you'll get a pop-up if you try to follow lots of people. While it's unclear what's the number of actions that Threads permits, it's clear that it's a lot more than what Instagram allows. So use this to your advantage to grow quickly. Keep in mind Threads is a pretty new app, so there's a lot of stuff we just don't know yet, and there's a chance this video will be dated in a couple months. 
Because of this, as game developers, we want to keep up and be flexible when it comes to such changes, as it's important in terms of PR, marketing, and just being part of the game developer community in general. If you guys have any more questions, write them down in the comments, and we'll do our best to answer them. Lastly, this is probably expected, but here's a link to our Threads page. Give us a follow. We share art, coding, and gaming tips, news, and the occasional memes. Oh yeah, and don't forget to subscribe for more educational and entertaining content.